Reflect's new Chrome extension lets you save websites to your notes with a single click. As you read, you can go through and automatically highlight text, which will also be saved into Reflect. Any links you save will appear directly on your daily note with all information inside the backlink. You also now have the option to send tweets into your Reflect notes. All you need to do is save or bookmark them. These will also appear on your daily note with the tweets embedded directly for you to see. And if you choose, you can sync your entire Kindle library with your Reflect notes. It will save all of the notes and reading highlights that you've taken for each book. All right, so let's walk through how to use the extension. All right, so if you don't yet have the Reflect Chrome extension downloaded, and by that I mean the existing one, just go to reflect.app slash download and you'll find a button here. If you do already have it installed, just restart Chrome and it should update the extension for you. Now on this page here, I've already got it installed. So you see it says remove from Chrome. If you haven't yet, yours will say add to Chrome and it takes just a few seconds. It'll ask you to log in and give it a few permissions. But eventually you will land on this page. Here you can see the setup instructions and all the way down below, we've got some settings that we can configure. So we have the uh, default graph to be used. So right now you can see mine set to my demo brain for this video. You've got some options to save bookmarked and favorited tweets. So I'm going to have mine done for bookmarks. I'm not going to enable mine for favorite tweets because I favorite quite a lot of tweets and I don't want all of them to go into reflect. But you can kind of play around with these and see which one you want. Maybe start off by selecting both of them. And if you find that it's a little bit too much for favorited tweets, you can unselect this at any time. And then down below here, you can see I've got my Kindle sync set up and there's a disable button if I ever decide to break the sync there. And you can see it's got all of my 26 out of 26 uh, of my book synced with my notes and highlights. All right, so let's now go do a bit of a try with an actual article. Okay, so here I'm on every one of my favorite publications. And here I've got an article on AI, insomnia, and the articulation of taste. Cool. So the first thing I'm going to do is activate the plugin. You can see this top bar appears. And this has now been saved to my Reflect note. I can do this with one single click. Now, I don't have any highlights or notes saved. I've just saved the website. But if I go back over into my Reflect notes, we can see in my daily note that I've got a link. And if I click on it, we have the note here. It's automatically pulled in the URL, a description, the type as a link, but no highlights or anything. That's it. And we've got an incoming backlink to the daily note where it's linked from. So if I go back into this article, let's go find some highlights. Um, I'm just going to kind of choose these randomly. So um, let's maybe select that paragraph. Pretend I'm reading this. Maybe I select this sentence and maybe we'll do one more here. Okay, so now I've got three highlights. If I go back into my notes, here we can see they appear, oops, missed that one, nice and cleanly under the highlights thing. So if you have a lot of highlights, you can choose to collapse this. I'm going to keep mine open and I can keep going, taking notes here uh, in the article and it will just keep adding the highlights. Oh, there's my double highlighted things. Now let's, let's actually use that as an example. So let's say I, this paragraph was a mistake. Now I've got two highlights here. now, So I can remove that highlight and I can remove that highlight. And this will just take the highlights off of the page here. And I can even go through and remove all of them if I want. Now you might be thinking, if, what if I want to highlight text that I don't want to actually save my reflect notes, maybe copying and pasted. Well, you can just turn off the auto highlight here. And now you can see I can select this text just like normal, copy and paste it, and it's not going to save it as a highlight. If I turn it back on, do the same thing. Now it's saved as a highlight. I keep double highlighting. Um, all right, cool. So uh, also, I guess one other thing to note, you can always click open the note and reflect and it will appear with all of your highlights. If you want this toolbar to go away, you can just click on the trash can there. It will remove it. But don't worry, it's not going to remove any of your highlights there. <laughs> I made mine quite a mess by doing all those random highlights. And just click on it again. It will pull the toolbar back up. And the last thing to mention on note taking from a page, you can click on the description here and add a custom description. So maybe I want to say this is a cool article I found. 
and then make sure you click this again. It will make the box disappear and save it. You get the little check mark there. And if I go back into Reflect Notes, now I've got an updated description. All right, so that's kind of saving things from websites. You can do this with any site. Again, save the entire site with one click and then go through and highlight. You'll see the number of highlights that you've got here. All right, so let's go over the Twitter extension. This one's really cool. I've been very, very excited for this. So here I've got an example tweet from Alex, our CEO, just a few days ago on this exact feature that I'm now reviewing. So would you like it if tweets you bookmarked automatically got saved to reflect? Well, this has been done, so I probably wouldn't actually want to save this tweet, but let's go give it a whirl. I'm going to click the bookmark symbol there. And now if I go back into reflect and go to my daily note, we've got a new category here. We've got tweets. And I've got the tweet from Alex embedded there. And again, it looks nice and clean. If I go through and I'll just bookmark Ben's here just as an example, just so you can see, it will add it right underneath here, just like the links. So I could go through and read a ton of tweets, a ton of articles, and it's just going to add them to my daily note here cleanly. And the links will appear as the all notes page here. Now I want to also say, if you set up the Kindle Book Sync, you also get a library in Reflect, which is quite nice. So here we have my uh, Kindle Book Synced here. So let me open the sense of style here. And again, it operates just like the same way. So we've got the title pulled in here. We've got the type as a book. Uh, we've got the identification number, the authors, and the highlights here. So these highlights are coming from things that I've highlighted on my Kindle and any notes that I've taken and it puts them in here. So this works in the exact same way. But again, if you use the Readwise sync, stick with that. We recommend using one sync. That's why you now have the option to be able to uh, disable that at the bottom of this page here. So you can enable and disable the sync just like you can with the tweets. So the Chrome extension is very, very cool. We've been looking forward to these changes for quite a quite a while, and they've just really been polished into the toolbar really, really nicely. So go through, download the extension, give it a try, and go through and start saving some readings. Let us know what you think.